Peter Braxton is a cost analyst uh, supporting the Department of Navy. Took a 50% chance there. You got it down to two and you went for it and you got it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, well, Peter, you're out of lifelines. Incidentally, your boss was just great. <laughs> but um, you've got uh, three questions away from winning almost $2 million here. We're going to take a look at the question for $250,000 and see what it looks like. Here it comes. Let's play. All right, here you go. How many provinces make up Canada? Seven, 10, 12, 16. I uh, don't know the answer off the top of my head. Um, can possibly reason this out. I'm, I'm glad the numbers are not within one of each other. Um, provinces, uh, Yukon and Northwest Territories are out, so. <sighs> British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Quebec, Ontario, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, that's 10. Two territories would be 12, but those are not provinces. No, we just want provinces. So you counted 10. So it would either have to be 10, or are you missing two more to make it right. 12? Well, there's a number there to the east, but I believe I got them all. I'm going to say uh, B10. You could walk with 125, you could lose 93,000, you could win a quarter million. Still want to make a 10? Yes, final answer. Yes, sir! He's just two away, two away from $1,910,000, the biggest payoff in television history. But first, we gotta get past this question for 500,000. Here it is. Which of the following authors? played the lead role in the original movie based on his own novel. Richard Wright, James Baldwin, John Updike, Frank Herbert. Let's go over that question again. Which of the following authors played the lead role in the original movie based on his own novel. I haven't heard of this. Um, the only Frank Herbert novel I know made into a movie is Dune. That was starring Sting. I don't think it would be D. Uh, Richard Wright and James Baldwin are both African-American authors. Native Son, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Do you remember if they were in those films? I really don't know this one. Um, $250,000 is a very nice amount of money. I think I'm gonna have to quit here. I understand, sure. So you wanna walk at 250,000? Yes. Wanna take a guess here just for the heck of it? I think it'd either be A or B. Um, I guess B, James Baldwin. No, it was Richard Wright. You had that part of it. But here, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, man. That was great. Good luck to you. Okay. And who knew? A great kisser, too. Oh, boy. And now he and his fiance have a quarter million dollars to help start their lives together, and that's just great. But we still have nine guys who want to do exactly what Peter just did. So here's the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put these U.S. presidents in order of their birth, beginning with the earliest. Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, 
Ronald Reagan, John F. Kennedy. Okay, we're ready here. Let's see that answer now in the correct order, starting with the earliest president, Ronald Reagan, Gerald Ford, John F. Kennedy, Jimmy Carter. Who got it right of the fastest one? Caleb. Caleb Burroughs. There you go, Caleb.